Rave here, and this has finally arrived. It should be the Professor's Lounge theme. We shall see when we open it. I'm pretty sure it is, though. But it is a huge box. I mean, compared to, say, my DVD stack, it is that, that high. Very, very tall. So, uh, let's get into it, shall we? It's, it's very thick, it's like that waist as well. Um, before I take it off, this is the sticker. Just the Hogwarts crest. There's a better focus on it. Let's see what we have here. Just put the sticker off to the side to keep it under. Because I like keeping them. Mm. Wow. This is wow. Okay, so this is what's got the floating candles for the inside design. And let's let's do the t-shirt first, because it's like just right there. And let's see. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty cute. Shirt, I'm gonna stick it out here. Okay. That is pretty cute, you know what I'm saying? Got some like Chibi, Harry, Hermione, and Ron with Hedwig and no, that's not Scabbers, he's just eating something. It's probably chicken. Alright, this is a very stern looking Minerva McGonagall. Her name down there. And we've got all the house crests. I'm guessing, maybe, if they did customize this, this green is highlighted because that's southern. Yeah, it's my house. So if they do have it customized, then each of these will be glowing in your own colors. I think. We'll see at the end what that cheat sheet. <coughs> so that's that. That's pretty neat. Okay, so this we have making book. You know, the cold one with the wispy bits. And like some like design or like um, etchings from the textbook on the inside. That's pretty neat. That is for this guy's the half blood prints printed on the side. It's pretty neat. It's got like some scuzzy on the bag though. Like, as you see, it's just. It's just a bit scuzzy. And, you know, it's a string just. I can easily cut it off, but still, slightly unprofessional that, but it's like, it wants loose string. Normally you're supposed to cut the loose bits off after you make it. Anyway, so that's this. That's pretty neat. Hmm, it's a 
different, it's a, it's a postcard format here. And yes, I was right. The t-shirts were personalized. Um, okay, so Snape Potions Dot Kit. Keep all your toiletry concoctions safe in this potion themed bag. Well, that's neat. I'd probably put pens in there or some other something else. But, um, in a for toiletries, I just probably put it in a Ziploc bag, really. It's just a toothbrush and toothpaste and what else would you put for toiletries? But I don't really go out. Oh, shampoo, too. But I don't really go out, so... Hey. So I'd probably put some, like, my arty stuff in there. Really, I guess? I don't know what else I'd put in there. Ooh, I could put some more Harry Potter thing washi tape in there. I miss... I, I need some more things to put washi tape in anyway. I could do that. Okay, so, um, considering the t-shirt, I was correct. Um, or I just... See? The other Hogwarts house is glowed, so let's see. Hogwarts House Minerva McGonagall t-shirt. Celebrate the Fierce Gryffindor Professor with this tea featuring your house. So yeah, that's what the glowy parts were for. That's pretty neat. I'm definitely keeping it. Since she is my favorite female professor. Um, oh yeah, I probably should read the, the top bit thing. Um, professor's Lounge. Get into the classroom and celebrate Hogwarts professors past and present in this wizarding world crate. That's very small. But anyway, <laughs> and next up, we have, where are you going to go in here? Ooh, that's pretty snazzy. It is a Southern Journal, well, Hogwarts Journal, with a Gilderoy Lockhart signature pen. Very nice hardback. And that's the cover on the side cover. And we've got. I guess that's Gilder Lockhart's logo. I don't know. And we've got his signature in every corner of all the pages. Personally, I never liked him. But. Anyway, so here's a good old pen. We've got our Lockhart signature on there. It is a biro. Let me just see, where's a scrap piece of... Yeah. And... Hmm. It's biro, it's more of a navy blue color. Not black. So that's fine. And it's nice that it has a little hoop. An elastic hoop so I can put the pen with the journal. And it is lined as you saw. I'm not sure what I use this for really. I'll use it for something. Even though I don't really like him. But Journals are always good to have. which is all of them anyway. But yeah, that's that. Just 
thing this eye came out so yeah I personally don't like anything to do with spiders but um this obviously represents Aragon most likely uh brush out your your beard or your hair with this comb inspired by Hagrid which is inspired by one of his pets Aragon yeah, I'll probably sell this. Though this side loose, I might just put a dab of glue under it to put it back in. But other than that, it's brand new, not used. So, got that. And next up, we have. I always save the pin for last, but the other thing is huge. So, we'll do the pin right now. Okay, and it is. Ta -da! Magical Places, Hogwarts School of Witchcrafts and Wizardry. It's a very lovely Hogwarts pin. Very lovely. It says, Hogwarts pin. Celebrate the professors of Hogwarts with the next pin in our Magical Places series. So last up is this huge thing. It's kind of sad on the uh, outside. It just says, Grift Teacup. Let me just put this up. This camera over here. <clears throat> it says, Portend your future with this cup of Harry's Professor Trelawney would approve of. So this is all what it looks like. It's not a flappy paper. Like this is the third time they changed this cheat sheet. Because before, for the first few, it was a scroll kind of layout. The next, it was just a, like an envelope layout with a very long thing. And this time, it's just a postcard sized. Don't know which one is better. But um, anyway, see lots of styrofoam on the top. See. Saucer. My dear, you have the grim is on it. That's the saucer part. Then the cup is a very basic teacup with for some reason a dent in it. Like I mean, I don't know if you can see it. That's like right there. I mean, it doesn't bother me much because the main art is on the inside. Which is tall. Oh, just It's very big. Top rack, dishwasher safe. 
not safe in uh, forever in a rifle. So you can drink out of it. This is a grim teacup. I mean, if I was a tea person, I'd probably use it. I'm not a tea person. I still might use it. <laughs> what didn't happen? Of course, they'd have to wash it before you use it. Hopefully nothing would happen to it. But it does leak. But anyway, yes. That is on the inside. I don't know if you'll cut me off, but, um, or where I cut me off. Uh, that is everything. So, toiletries bag, the comb, the pin, Gilroy Lockhart journal, Trillonese teacup, and I seem to have forgotten, but the shirt needs to be in this picture somewhere. And, da -da. I'm just going to take pictures of everything, and voila. Oh. Okay, so, Marin Jim was your favorite. I mean, I really like the shirt this time, and the toiletries bag. It's very nice, I just... I wouldn't use it for toiletries, I'd use it for something else, as I said before. But, um, yeah. Um, that is definitely going on my eBay. Um, I personally don't really have anything for Trelawney's, really, I don't think. So that's interesting. Um, don't know if I'd use it, but at least not to, because it is dishwasher safe. Hmm, who knows? I mean, like, the cup is made to be used, really, isn't it? It would have been cool if there was a design on the back, on the outside of the cup, too, not just the inside. I mean, that'd make it a bit more, I don't know. If there was some text on the outside, not just on the saucer, but it's nice that they decorated the saucer somehow, too. But yeah. That's everything, so I wonder what what what's anybody else's favorite. I mean, not that anyone's really ever commented what their favorite one was. But anyway. Do look out for for that on my eBay after this video is finished. But yeah. That's it. Nothing else? So thank you for watching, like, subscribe for more, ring the door for notifications, over and out.